Hi, good evening, everybody. Welcome to ACCA's webinar on SPL for March 2022 attempt. This is Sir Hassan Dosani, and I hope you guys are keeping well. And uh, today is the second day of our webinar, which we started yesterday. So let's wait for a couple of minutes to allow our colleagues to join who are struggling. So two more minutes. So while um, we are waiting, please can you make sure that your PC or laptop is ready and you have the ET for you question paper, which was in the P, which is in a PDF format, which I had also shared on the various WhatsApp group, and you can see it in the handouts section of this webinar panel, right? So please download that and also open up your CB practice platform, okay? So uh, there are like 180 almost students. So I need your confirmation that you are ready. Your laptop is ready. You have the question paper with you and your CBE practice platform is ready. Yes, please open up the blank workspace on your uh, CB platform, please. So I, because when I will start, then I will not like to stop for administrative disturbances. So please download this paper from the handout section or wherever is easy for you and open up your CBE platform SBL blank workspace. Once you are done, please type done in the question box. Excellent. So I think uh, very good, Munip. I think let's start uh, 7.30 three 194 students i think we are good to go please can you confirm that you are able to see my screen clearly in which this sbl is written this one are you able to see the screen with which uh, with SBL, what's happening? There's something wrong. Um, okay, so let's start. So today, again, a big welcome to all of you in our second day of SBL webinar. Today is a very important day because we will start our full-fledged practice and drafting session. Yesterday, we talked about all the basic foundations like the professional skills, the formats, the exam techniques, all those things. And today, 
let's try and slowly and gradually apply those things while we do the practice okay right so those of you who are attending today for the first time this is my brief introduction uh what's more important is that this is my personal whatsapp number which you can save if you want to reach out to me and also i manage global whatsapp group for sbl so if you want to be added to that whatsapp group you can send a message on this number and you will be added to the whatsapp group the webinar admin guy will also share the link in the question box every few minutes so you can click on that as well how to ask question very important again i would like to stress that it's very important that you ask a lot of questions but please make sure a couple of things uh you should not you should only ask questions relating to the topic under discussion okay i will not take irrelevant topics during the webinar but in the end i will allocate five ten minutes for open-ended questions but during my lecture please be specific to the slides under discussion and you can ask questions by typing your question in the question box, okay? Right, so here is the big paper. It is SBL paper for March 2020. It is called TT for you. One of the most notorious difficult paper in SBL a lot of students they were crying what kind of paper this was and if you look uh, very interesting requirements analyze main risks so the topic here is risk management so you should be familiar with various types of risks okay then we have to evaluate two options so maybe two options have been given option a option b uh, miss world versus miss universe and we need to evaluate both of them then it security controls very interesting topic risk and ethical issues evaluate investment appraisal interesting transformation or change management so this was perhaps that topic in which a lot of students they painted also this one benefits and changes of myobed approach a lot of students fainted in this one and then changes to the board of directors a lot of students were not able to reach this part because they were dead. They were fainted in these two questions. <laughs> so a good variety. And on the face of it, it does not look difficult to me. So my approach will be that I will, you know, whenever we will be doing a question, first I will quickly revise that topic. What do you say? Should I? revise the relevant topic in few minutes before we attempt this question or you want to be adventurous let me know okay all right revise okay I'll, I, but it will not be a, a detailed thing right it will just be enough for you to know what's happening all right all right let's move on so step number one you remember the exam techniques from yesterday our step number one the moment we open our paper we have to quickly copy paste all requirements on our cbe word 2. so let's do that 
Okay, so let me open my PDF. So this is uh, the paper, which is March 2020. And if you scroll down, this is the name is tech there for you or TT for you, right? So the first step is we just immediately scroll down and we need to copy the bold requirements. So let me open up the CBE platform. Ah, here is the girl. Where is strategic business leader here? I will click on SBL. There is official resources and underneath that there is blank workspace. I will click on blank workspace. I already have it open here. I will click on this one. And I would say resume. So something like this will open up. Very similar to the window which you will see in your real exam. The only thing is these exhibits are empty. Everything is empty. We will just use this word processor. So I will click on the word processor. Oops. I will click on this word processor. Let me increase this. Let me delete this crap. Now I'm ready. So on one hand, I have this question paper, which is on PDF. And on the other hand, my blank workspace is open in the word processor. Are you guys ready? Do you also have the paper as well as the word tool, word processor in front of you? Can I have a yes? Okay, excellent, excellent. So now let's you lock. Uh, we will just copy the bold portion. OK, we will not copy this and we will not copy the professional skills. You remember yesterday, every question has three components. The first one is the background, which is the unbold portion. The second one is the technical requirements. And the third one is professional skills. So we will just copy the technical requirements starting from A. So from here, just forget about the marks as well. Forget about the marks, just this portion. Control C, Alt Tab, and I press this button. Done. Enter, enter, enter. Please do this. Copy the first requirement, paste it on your word processor, and then press enter three times. Again, I will go back, copy part B, control C, alt tab, and press this one, done. Enter, enter, maybe two times is also enough, okay? Enter, enter. So please, now you are on your own. Quickly copy all the requirements and bring it to the thing. OK, so here, see, this one is a bit tricky. Let me try and copy it. Control C. The formatting is a bit out. I'll just. OK, done. C. So this one ABC is question number one. So I will write one, one, one. Okay, and then now this one is question number two. So I will just copy, paste.
I hope you are also quickly trying to copy it. I am done. One A, one B, one C, two A, two B, three A, three B, three C. Okay. Now, if you are done copy pasting all the requirements sequentially, and you have to leave two or three lines between each of the requirements, make sure that there is at least two to three lines between each requirement. If you are done with this, please type yes. Very good, very good. Uh, Zahoor is asking, we have to delete the requirements later on, no worries, not an issue. If you want, you can, otherwise if you don't, it's okay. Sir, will control V work? Uh, it normally, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the mood of the software. So you must be familiar, familiar with other alternatives to control V. Done? Okay. Now, okay. Now watch, watch very carefully. Now, um, yeah. Now watch very carefully. Have you left? spaces in between right now select select this entire thing how you can triple click one two three did you see bring your cursor on the thing if you want to select the entire paragraph three clicks on your mouse one two three got it one two three if you want to select one word then two clicks but if you want to select the entire paragraph, then three clicks. Okay. Select everything, go to paragraph, and select heading three. It will automatically become bold and big and visible. So these are various formats of the headings. Let me try heading four. It's a bit small. Okay, heading three is okay. Now this one, one, two, three, heading three. And then you select this entire thing, heading three. Why am I doing this? Because I want the question to be very clear and visible to me. I don't want it to be hodgepodge and I am struggling to find my question because once you start doing copy pasting, it will become hodgepodge. So I want the questions to stand out. Okay. 
done i give you one minute so that you can you know just instead of manually increasing the font size and doing bold you can quickly select paragraph heading number three format and it will be faster 30 more seconds because this is your first time it will take some time but the more you practice it will maximum all this will take three minutes copy pasting and bold if you are fast enough if you have enough practice. Done, very good. Very good. All right. Now, now after we have copy pasted, I want to read all these questions. Why? So that I know what has been asked. Why? So that when I'm reading the exhibits, I can then copy and paste the information under the right respective question. Very simple. So let's read. 1A says prepare briefing notes for the board which analyzes the main risks which threaten TT for you being awarded new contracts and retaining current contracts. Analyze the main risks. Analyze main risk. Okay, I'm not able to highlight. Probably because it's a Word document. Okay, analyze main risk. Keep in mind that when we are reading the case, one of the question, we have to analyze the risks which the business faces. B, prepare a section of your report which evaluates the two strategic options. So keep in mind that there must be some information about two strategic options. So wherever we find any information, we will bring it here. So main risks, evaluate two options. One C, prepare a confidential email which advises on the actions which tt for you can take to ensure that the controls on the confidentiality of data operate effectively controls on the confidentiality of data operates effectively it sounds like it data security right and discuss ethical uh, risks and ethical issues relating to community communicating the threat to the client rex investment so keep in mind that anything we find on security and data and about communicating with rex will go under 1c Prepare a section of a report which critically evaluates the investment appraisal produced by the finance time. Very straightforward. We have to evaluate the investment appraisal. Prepare briefing notes, blah, 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 which recommend how e-marketing can be used to attract and retain clients for the new cloud-based services, e-marketing of cloud-based services. Okay, e-marketing, cloud, the new cloud-based services. Looks like new product. Prepare a blah, 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 which advises her on the responsibility and activities involved in preparing for and implementing the transformation transformation so she is the ceo is planning some type of transformation so we have to keep in mind transformation has to go here 
prepare a letter to all employees which will be signed blah 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 explaining the benefits of myobed approach wow so wherever we see any information in the exhibits about myobed keep in mind the main changes to the team structures and behaviors below board level which the new myobed approach will require again myobed Prepare briefing note which advises the board on the changes required to the membership of the board. Aha. So what changes are required in the board of directors? So any information about the current board of directors would be helpful and the information supplied to the board. So unfortunately, you should try you have to try and remember if not all but few of the requirements let's revise risks two strategic options data security and control investment appraisal e-marketing of cloud-based services uh, transformation um, this one looks like myobed and board of directors information to the board are you guys okay now we have now we know what the requirements are we have got a high level high level understanding of the requirements okay now once you have copy pasted the requirements and you have read the technical requirements and you know what the requirements are the next step is you can start reading and uh, wherever you feel something relevant you can copy paste it to the respective question now but in this introduction i will read let's read together so that you get an idea of how to do it okay so overview tt for you is a firm so what i'll do is i will highlight some basic information and then we'll see tt for you is a firm of information technology consultants founded 20 years ago it's an it firm okay initially offering advice on computer efficiency and security the company has expanded to offer a range of services including technology support and data hosting it currently employs 75 staff members which have grown from six since its establishment so remember guys are you a student or are you a CFO? Tell me. Are you a student who is shivering and shit scared and is drafting or working for the examiner? Or are you a CFO right now trying to understand the business and then guide the board? These make a shift in your mind. Throw out the scary bit. Relax. Upgrade your thoughts. You are a CFO. You are trying to understand this business model so that you can guide and help the board of directors with your thoughts and views. Is that okay? please huh? so when we are reading i always feel that i am the cfo i understand business right so so the first paragraph is just about the company founded 20 years ago blah 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 we have range of services 75 people very good i will just keep that in my mind tt for you has based its success in the past um on its good knowledge of client business and its ability to match oops no i don't want to and its ability to 
match the solutions it provided with business requirements. TT4U has had a diverse client base. That's good. Operating in a wide variety of industry sectors. That's good. So in the past, our success was based on good knowledge of client business, and we have got a diverse base. Very good. It's just my understanding. The four consultants who initially founded the company remain on the board in key executive roles. So it was founded by, initially founded by uh, four consultants. The, the four consultants, they came together and they formed this company. And right now they are on the board in executive role. So they are executive directors. The board is constituted as follows. So chairman and non-executive director. So the board has a chairman who is a an ED, it is a non-executive. Appointed two years ago, a partner in a large law firm. Interesting. Then there is a CEO. He is one of the original founder. Then there is a services director. He is also one of the original founder. And what does he really do? Like he leads TT for use team for smaller businesses. Okay. Then there's a guy called marketing director. He is original founder and leads TT for use team for larger businesses. Okay. And then there is a IT director. He is also an original founder and leads TT for use public sector team. So it looks like you know, uh, CFOs, hey CFOs. It looks like uh, let's you know we are consulting each other. So it looks like this company they have they have three teams: uh, small businesses, large businesses, and public sector. And those are led led by one of the directors. Then there's a finance director appointed four years ago. Uh, he looks executive or non-executive? I think it's executive because otherwise it would have been mentioned. And there is one non-executive director. So there are two non-executives, okay? And this guy was appointed two years ago, a former partner of a large accountancy firm. Mm -hmm. Below the board level, operational staff are allocated to one of the three teams serving particular types of clients. Teams are led by the relevant founder director of the team. Interesting. Now, guys, I have been given information about the current board of directors. Can I use it somewhere in my answer i remember that one of the question was about the board of directors can you remind me which question was that no no need it's not a test of your memory right but actually i can just quickly scroll down my investment appraisal e-marketing nopes uh transformation noops 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 do 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 my obed noops ah please see prepare notes advising on the changes required to the membership of the board very good 3c now it's difficult for me to copy right if i control c uh and i paste it i'm sure the formatting will mess up so I will not do anything. I will just write here, refer to intro or structure. Alas, this will remind me 
that when I will be drafting this question, I have mentioned a small note here, which I will delete later on that um, refer to uh, intro for the board of director structure. Is that okay? Simple. Please do it. You also type like this. Okay. Now, 20 years ago, the company achieved a listing. No, sorry. Oh my God. Two years ago, the company achieved a listing on its national stock exchange for smaller companies. So it's kind of a listed company. It for you is compliant with the corporate governance code enforced by the stock exchange. The founder directors continue to own a majority of the shares, but the company now has external shareholders. Interesting. But I'm sure they must be in minority because the majority is owned by the founding director. Some of these external shareholders have indicated that they would like to see the company achieve a full listing on the main national stock exchange within next three years. So they want to upgrade and be listed on the main stock exchange of the company. Right now, they are listed in one of the smaller sideline stock exchanges. Interesting. Corporate governance. I don't think there is any direct information. Okay. TT4U CEO believes that TT4U needs to undergo an internal transformation ah, in order to be able to retain clients and deliver the expansion required. Oh, she believes that the company's current structures are now insufficient to respond quickly enough to the changes in the external environment in meet clients evolving demand. Very interesting paragraph. Why do I say it's interesting? Because I saw a word transformation. And I, I slightly recall that in my, one of the question was about transformation. I don't know which one quickly i have a bad memory transformation transformation uh, transformation yeah this one create prepare an email which advises on the responsibilities and activities involved in preparing implementing da, 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 da. okay and prepare which will be some of the, the benefits okay so let's let's control c and paste it here okay please do it because i saw the word transformation and here the requirement was about transformation i have just brought that information here done so guys uh are you now uh, getting the idea of how do we do referencing this activity i personally call it referencing that i'm reading the scenario i'm reading the exhibits i have i have kept the requirements back of my mind and when i see some key words i just copy and paste referencing this is how i am linking with the exhibits i am utilizing some information in my answer now you get a hang of it good let's continue you see there's no need to highlight here because it's a, just a waste of time you see i'm not highlighting here although there is option this is just a waste of time i just copy pasted this and whatever i want to do I will do it in my answer sheet. Now, TT4U's board has decided to engage an external consultancy firm, Stubfield, 
to help in evaluating various strategic options and advising on directors. You are the leader of the team from stub field, responsible for producing sections of a report and various documents. So this is my role. What's my role? I'm the leader of the team from stub field. Very, very important that you keep your role in your mind. So can you tell me, am I an internal person or am I an external person? Yes, very good. So throughout all the questions, my drafting, my tone will be external because I'm an external consultant. <coughs> very good, guys. Very good. The following exhibits provide information, transcript, okay. So, so far, if I look at my answer, I have found something relating to transformation and I have found something relating to the board of directors. What I want to tell you guys is that even in the introduction exhibit, the first exhibit, which is just supposed to give you introduction, even in that introduction, you, the examiner always hides some information which can be directly used in your answer. So never underestimate the introduction or overview page. It always contains some bits of the answer, right? So now, CFOs, did you understand their business model? Let's visualize. Let's put ourselves in the company's shoes. So we are, so no, we are the consultants, right? We are the consultants. So this is an IT company founded, I'm just founded 20 years ago by four idiots and now after 20 years they have grown substantially right they provide a whole range of um, it services they are currently listed but in a small stock exchange and now they want to list themselves in a larger uh, stock exchange and there is some transformation which the ceo believes that might be required this paragraph right I think pretty straightforward. Any questions? Yes or no? Any questions? Easy, right? So far it's easy. Remember, this is one of the most difficult case or exam in your SBL history. We don't have to paste marks and all. Fatima, did I paste the marks? No, right? So please don't ask such questions that do I have to paste marks? If I haven't pasted, it's understood that it's not supposed to be pasted. Right, let's move on. The second thing is now this list of exhibits, right? So you remember the technique where we will do some smart reading that we will identify um, the one is too many exhibits first. We will read those first. And then after that, we will read the one is to one exit. So let's see whether you are able to identify. Uh, so exhibit one is transcript of that of directors meetings. So it's like Directors minutes, board minutes. What do you think? Board minutes. Remind me, one is to one or one is too many. Look at the size. Oh my God, one page, almost two page. One is too many? Yes, definitely, because, because it is director's transcript, you know, I would mark it as one is too many. Next. Summary of myobed. OK, 
client approach very short and very specific topic it talks about myobed approach so definitely it is not a one is too many it is a one is to one Now listen very carefully. Watch very carefully. Huh? Very interesting. So this is one is to one, right? This is one is to one. What is the exhibit number? Exhibit number two. Do you know there's a question on myobet in our list of requirements? Let's go there. Myobet. Myobed. Please write here E X H I B I T two. Alas. Please do your cross referencing. So I saw a one to one exhibit on Myobed, which is exhibit number two. So quickly come back to your sheet and make this here that when we do this question, I would like to read exhibit two. Easier eh? now, it life will become easy for you. Next one blog on IT consultancy sector on business tomorrow vaccine website. I'm not sure it is not short, not lengthy. It's a blog or an, you know, blog is just like an article, right? It's the new word is blog, but it's essentially an article uh, on the IT sector. I'm not sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? There are so many things. Let me know what you think. One is too many. Just let me know one is to one or one is too many. I'm not asking you the question number. I think one is too many would be safer. You remember I I had said that if you don't, if you're not sure, then mark it as one is too. One is too many and we will move on. Now extract of results of client survey. Did you see any question on client survey? I don't recall any questions on client survey. Do you guys remember seeing a question on client survey? I don't think so, right? Client survey, I didn't see this word in the requirements. E-marketing, it was not client survey, it was about cloud services. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check out. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure there is no client survey. Oh, there's a search option. You see, there's a search option. I just type client. Find. Could not find. So there is no client word on my Word document. You see, I just searched it. That's search uh, my bed. Wow. I think it's not working because it's a blank space. Okay. So nothing on client survey. So I really don't know where I can use it. So let's mark it one is too many and it's lengthy. Discussion of threatening letter about TT4U's largest client Rex investment. So this is about some letter Rex investment, very specific, short. I remember seeing Rex investment somewhere. Rex, 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 Rex. Yeah, this one. What is the exhibit number? uh the exhibit number is five so quickly write exhibit 
cross-referencing exhibit 5. And the last exhibit is appraisal of cloud services investment. I know this one. There was exhibit 6. There was this one question, right? On investment appraisal, this one. Write, quickly write EXHIB6. Done. So we have identified the one is to one exhibits. We have identified the one is to one exhibit and we have mentioned the number under the respective questions. So 2A, we can use exhibit six. For 1C, we can use exhibit five. For 3B, we can refer to exhibit two. For this one, we Guys, any questions? Why are we using exhibit six for 2A and not 2B? Yes, you are right, Madhu. I also feel it's 2B, but we can decide it later. It's not uh, cast on stone, right? As long as I've mentioned it there, I'm okay. It's easy, right? It's easy. I, is it really complicated? No. Because I have made a list of requirements, I have brought all the requirements on one page and I read it twice. I high level remember what the keywords were. And while we are reading, you know, I just cross referenced. We can use four, course four, exhibit four, four, I don't know, Makas. Uh, can we start any question? No, you have to follow the sequence. What about professional marks? Wait, Zahur, I know all about professional marks. Right now, I'm just referencing. I'm just trying to link with the case. Uh, to hell with professional marks, to hell with format. Right now, I'm just trying to grab some relevant information from the scenario. If you, if you try to do so many things at once, you will be dead. Okay, so relax. Just try to link first. Exactly. I think most of you guys who are asking question, I think you did not attend yesterday's webinar. Otherwise, you know, you may not have been asking these questions, right? Am I right? Okay. Right. Let's move on. Okay. So now as per the technique, once we identified one is to one and one is too many, we are supposed to read it. Right. So we will first read one is too many. So we will skip this one. And then we will read this one. And then we will read this one. And then we will um, skip this one because it is one is two one. We will skip this one because it is one is two one. So three one, three many and three one. So now, guys, let's start with exhibit one. Please bear in mind that at the moment, I'm going extremely slow. Why? Because I am teaching you how to walk. I'm teaching you. In the exams, it's it will not be as slow as this i hope you understand okay you can and it, once you do two questions three questions you will get hang of it and the more you practice your speed will build up it's not difficult and it is not as slow as it looks right now i'm deliberately going slow because i want you guys to understand okay we will build up speed after a few minutes. So now let's play a game. I will erase this. 
Now let's read exhibit one. Let's play a game now. I want you to test yourself. Can you guys? Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. The charger, charger, charger. Just a second, guys. Ouch. Okay, good. Now, sorry guys for the disturbance. Uh, now, can you read from here till here and see if you can find something which you can link with the answer? Time starts now. Think like a CFO. When you are reading the minutes, you are a consultant or a CFO, a seasoned senior person, not an idiot student. Okay, I'm done. Once you are done reading these please, three paragraphs, please type done. I will wait. All right, wow, that's good. Okay. Ten more seconds. Were you able to find something in this paragraph? Let me know the keyword which got your attention. Let's see. I saw a word which got my attention. Keyword, cloud-based services. What? So I remember there is one question on, there are actually two questions on cloud-based services, right? One was, um, Um, where is it? Cloud based one was uh, uh, some e marketing, which recommend how e marketing can be used to attract and retain clients for the new cloud based services. So the focus here is on e marketing, how we can use e marketing. And the second thing was about some appraisal. Prepare a section of your report which critically evaluates the investment appraisal produced by the finance director. Interesting. All right, so let's copy some of the portion. Okay, let's copy this, then we will decide it. Control C. Where do we paste? 
I don't know. Maybe it can go under investment appraisal. And it can also go under the e-marketing. So there is no harm in pasting it in both places. You see, I was not sure how or where I will use this. So I pasted it under both possible requirements. Later on, we can edit or we can delete altogether. Maybe later on, if I get more points, I might feel that this paragraph is no more required. I can simply press delete. But at the moment, I'm just dumping stuff under, I'm parking them, okay? Now, is there any other information in those three paragraphs? There is one more important information. Anyone? Arava, Hamad Ali, good. Hamad Ali is saying we are too reliant on existing customers. What's wrong with that? So, okay, let me oh, go back to the thing. It says, this sentence has gotten, they feel that we are too reliant on existing business from our long-term clients. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? That we are too reliant. You see the stress word? Remember yesterday I told you there are stress words like extremely, very, notably. So too, we are too reliant on existing business from our long-term crime. Is this good news or bad news? So Ms. CFOs, why do you think it's bad news? I dependency, why is it bad news? Or I give the Give me and help me understand why you're saying it's bad news. Okay. Do you think this no growth? No, that's not a good option, not a good logic. Because there's high dependency. If one of them goes or one of them gets bankrupt, we will lose our revenue. So is this bad, right? We all agree this is bad. Can this cause damage to us in future? Of course, it's bad. And bad things will or may harm us. And now listen very carefully. It's a bad thing? Yes. Do you think this bad thing may affect us adversely? Yes risk risk so do you go do you know what a risk is what is the meaning of a risk a risk is a possible future event which may harm you put all your eggs in one basket. Forget, please don't try to do name the risk like liquidity risk. Forget about the type of it. Is it a risk putting all eggs in one basket to reliant on few customers? It's a risk. It's bad strategy. Can we just copy paste? Just uh, copy that we are too reliant Just copy this whole thing, control C. Was there a question on risk somewhere? Something which may cause damage. Yeah, question number one. Analyze the main risks. And paste it here. But so I know that most of you students 
may have missed it. Uh, risk management is a slightly difficult topic. So it doesn't matter. Now you have to know that if you see any bad thing which may cause damage to the company, any weakness which may cause harm us in future, it's a risk and we need to fix it. So when we identify the risk, what's the next step? We have to fix it, right? Done. So I got two points from this. Now, can you read this paragraph and see whether something important is there? Otherwise, we can move on. Ah. What do you say? One sentence was of my use, the rest was bullshitting. The finance director feels that the payback period is just outside the three year limit that we set. Where can we use this information? Payback. Investment appraisal question, right? Quickly copy this sentence, go to your, um, this one, 2A. Done. I've got my Done? Easy? Move on. Now, guys, just read this one. Where can we use this sentence? Uh, Rex is a very difficult client and there's a stress word. I don't want to miss out on this. Rex is a very difficult client. There is a question on Rex, right? Control C. Yeah. And then, anything else or you are good? What about this? I think our launch of these services, which services? I think they're talking about cloud-based. I think our launch of these services must make a big impact as a means of attracting the new business we need. Okay, I can leave, I can leave it as well. Any questions so far? My friend Fahad, please don't type in Urdu. I don't understand Urdu. Mujhe Urdu nahi aata. Junior making appraisal, it is not an issue. Yeah, it is an issue, but which question? 
which question are you supposed to talk about it that a junior should not make there's no question the question says analyze the pre uh, the investment appraisal and you will analyze right so can we say the quality of the appraisal is affected no need we are just the requirement says identically critically okay let me read the requirements yeah the, of the appraisal where is it come on come on come on so it says oh god wait okay so it says which critically evaluates the investment appraisal produced by the finance director so already we are supposed to you know take out mistakes and errors identify it says critically evaluate so i will cover everything there okay let me see any more intelligent question is it says critically no why think like cf think like a cfo forget about that it's been made by the uh, by a junior staff even if it, if it was made by a senior staff there were chances of errors right so we will identify the errors move on now i want you to read more paragraphs now you should read um, from here till here time starts now also keep in mind who the speaker is okay <laughs> very straightforward guys once you are done please type done very good ananya what do you think tell me the question number tell me the question number question number help me 1b really let me see are was excellent excellent so option 1 i'll just copy this paste enter and then the government so this one was about internet of things and this one is about government sector work control c 
So these are the two options. So we have the data now, and then we will add it, uh, add our comments later on. Very simple, right? Easy, easy peasy. Now please read the next three, uh, oops. The next three paragraphs. Time starts now. Okay, I'm done. Take your time. No hurries. Well, I can see three different things. If you are done reading, please type done. And then we will discuss which question we can use. Ten more seconds. I don't know, Jovita. All right. So the first one. Recent client survey, we haven't carried out a survey like for this for some years. It highlights the need to transform our business to bring our clients closer to us. I know there is no direct requirement on client survey. I'm, I'm very confused. There's an exhibit on client survey. There's information on client survey. And I really honestly don't know where to use, but OK. Transform our business. I saw this word. Maybe we can park this sentence under the transformation thing. Transform. There was something about transform, right? The uh, or maybe okay. Let's let's first put it under transform. Where is transform? Yeah. Is this a risk? That we haven't carried out a survey like this. So they haven't done a client survey for so many years. Is, is this a risk? Is this can this harm the business? 
in some way going forward? Do we need to fix it? Aha. Yes, so, you know, all good businesses, they like to do regular customer surveys and feedbacks and uh, they want to be in touch with the customers. So can we uh, also, you know, use this uh, um, in risk? Let's copy paste it in risk as well. And then we will decide. It is a thing which is not good, right? Not doing customer surveys, it's a risk. We might lose touch with our customers. Okay. This approach is based on building open sharing relationship with clients, motivate, blah, 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 myo bed, right? Control C. Where is myo bed? benefits okay so this is i can see it's a benefit help them create new sources and values agreed do you guys agree okay And what about this one? I shall be looking at how we operate as a board. I remember there was a question on the board of directors, what changes, what information? Let me look at that question. I think it says uh, changes required to the board of member directors, information supplied. So this paragraph talks about how we operate as a board blah 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 this model is old da, da, da. matrix organization interesting can we copy this and you see because i saw the word board how we operate as a board maybe there's some other question Maybe uh, there was this other question as well, where employees uh, were supposed to, well, yeah, this one. The main changes to the team structures and behaviors below the board level. Ah. So 3B, we are supposed to talk about some changes to be brought underneath the board like at employees level and 3c is talking about changes to the board or let's put it the other way out 3c talks about changes to the board and 3b talks about changes to the hierarchy the employee structures so i will also paste this information here and especially uh, it's a model where we started matrix organization blah 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 got it so one requirement, one requirement or one information you can paste in multiple requirements. It's not always one is to one. No harm in pasting and then later on we can delete if we think that it's not appropriate in that place, right? Can we consider it as a risk? Yeah. So if our structure is outdated, structure is outdated, that's a good point, uh, that it's a risk that, that we may not be appropriate. Yeah, good point. So let's put it, uh, take all this, uh, copy this and let's put it under risk as well. 
that our structure is inappropriate. And obviously, if your structure is inappropriate, what's the impact? How it can affect your business adversely? I pasted this point in three places. Number one, as a risk. Number two, changes to the employee and the team structures below the board level. And number three, changes to the board of directors. Zahur, I will come to that, okay? Oh my God, the WhatsApp group is full. Which group? The WhatsApp group is full? Um, okay, then, you know, I will need to create a WhatsApp group uh, separately and then I will share the link tomorrow, okay? Yeah, it's no, uh, then I will need to create our next group and I will share the link tomorrow. Sorry. This is last. Okay, so I'm tired now. Please read this. And then we'll go to a break. Time starts now. I'm done. You guys can take 30 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Okay, good. Three C is related to clients. No. Okay, staff, information about staff then teams. I saw this word teams. I remember there's one question on how to make changes to the teams, right? So which question was that in which we are supposed to suggest changes to the teams? I think it was behaviors and teams. Let's paste it here. And this one says we need to considering the current state of relationship with clients as an agenda item every board meeting. We have to develop KPIs beyond blah, blah, blah. We have an idea. Where can we use this? That the board is now saying that we should, you must have this information. We must put this item in our agenda, in you know, our regular meeting agenda. Can anybody tell me? I saw a requirement. 3C, 3C, yes. You see, if you read the requirement, 3C, the 
changes required to the information supply to the board so now the board is saying that we need we also need this information that information it's no you know the current information is not sufficient very good And also we must consider how we perceive in relation to our competitors. We do have a report, but it doesn't tell us about this, 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 this. Same thing that they want to have more information about competitors. So I will paste it here, but you think competitors are risks does competitor pose any kind of risk? Competitor, competent, competition risk. Uh, yes, very good. So I will just um, um, paste it this competition word under risk as well, and then I will draft it later on. So we are done with the most lengthy exhibits. If you see the rest of the exhibits are quite smaller. All one pager. So we just did the largest exhibit and it was a one is too many because we were able to identify so much information. If I look at my, at my answer sheet for 1A, I've already got such so much points from the case study. For the two options, I've got these points. Uh, IT, we know it's Exhibit 5. For Investment Appraisal, we know it's Exhibit 6. For e-marketing of cloud base, we do have some information. Transformation, we have a couple of points. Myobed, we know exhibit two along with these points. And changes to the board and changes to the information supplied to the board. So just from one exhibit, I was able to lay my hands on information. I don't know how much I will use it when I will come to drafting, but at least I have some information. You guys need a break now? It is uh, 7 13, almost one and a half hour. Should we take a break? Yeah, okay. So it is. Uh, what time is it? 9 or. It's 10 or 5 to 10, 15 minutes break will be 10 to 0, right? 9 or 5 to 10. Okay, guys, time starts now. See you in 15 minutes sharp, okay?
Yes, Nayan, Madhu, I will let you know after the practice. Uh, WhatsApp link I will share tomorrow because I will need to create another group. You'll get the link tomorrow. Right. No, Amir, it's not. So now, let's uh, skip exhibit two because it is one is to one. We will read it. So now, I want you to read this one. And uh, please, I think now, uh, can you read this full? Let's see if you're able to read this fully and identify some keywords from your answers point of view. Time starts now. OK, time starts now. Okay, I'm done reading. You guys can take your time. I believe two to three minutes would be sufficient. So continue reading. 
Once you are done, please type done. Two more minutes. One more minute. Once you're done, please type done. Thirty seconds. Yes, Nan. Oh. All right, interesting article. It is about the IT consultancy sector. It gives us about information about the external environment, how things are evolving, changing. Again, were you able to spot some keywords? Now I think it will feel a little bit easy, right? I was easy. Uh, I saw some cloud based services. Where can we copy this cloud based services? Uh, there was some cloud based. I can... There was something on cloud based, right? Uh, there was a um, some exhibit oh it's working i'll just copy this here and then we will look into it later Cloud. What about Internet of Things? The entire thing will go where? Control C. Internet of Things was. Uh, this. Okay, and this one was for the government contracts. Okay. What about client service? Remains a problem. Our survey shows that consultants 
who are responsive, who use business approach with client participant, blah, 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 like a myobed approach are making the largest profit. Advantages of myobed, right? Myo bed was okay. Advantages of myo bed. What uh, there are more long term government sector contracts that call government sector. Government sector, where can we use it? I think the two options, one B, yeah. And it says ultimately firms cannot take for granted any of their clients. Many firms have been long-term, have seen long-term relationships. And I think this was a risk, right? Long-term dependency. Too much reliance. I think we can use it here somewhere as a risk that you know you cannot rely on loyal clients anymore. And then this, I read this. They don't answer their phones. They don't respond to emails. I don't know where to use. What about this? The reason why Internet of Things hasn't developed. So it's Internet of Things. Uh, Internet of Things was one B. This one. Ah, done. Any questions? Uh, any questions, uh, sir? Can we talk about efficiency in the first paragraph? We will discuss the first paragraph later. Like I'm not discussing, I'm just copy pasting. So, did you feel that the uh, comment email one C, one C is about what? One C. One uh, C. No. Did you feel that this one was faster? Like, did you pick up some speed? You were reading, you were knowing that, okay, this paragraph, that question number. This paragraph, that question number. Did you feel that it's now getting easier and faster? Yes or no? It's not very difficult. It will take you five, 10 minutes because you need to remember the requirements, but as you progress on the exhibits, your speed will become faster. Achha, now, for today, our target is question number 1A and 1B. We are not gonna read uh, the exhibits first, uh, because I want to wrap up today with question 1A and 1B, but just quickly have a look at any other. Ah, this one more one is too many exhibit. It says extracts of results of client survey. So do you know what a client survey is? We are not going to read this in detail. You know what a client survey is? That you know we do a survey of our clients. And are you able to understand this? Service provision, flexibility, excellent, good, average, poor. These are the percentages and these are the comments. Innovation, these are the percentages and comments. Can you let me know? So there are one, two, three about TT for you, and then about staffing, knowledge, responsiveness, proactiveness. So six criteria. So in TT for you, these three criteria. Which one is the poorest?
which one is the poorest? Um, I think the baddest is innovation, this one, right? Because it's got the highest percentage. This one is seven, this one is 11, this one is 12. Which one is the best? Which excellent got the highest score? This one. They are good in information provision, but bad in innovation. And any comment which we can directly use in our It says the website is really poor. It says website is old fashioned, hasn't changed. They don't make use of enough messaging and social media. Okay, interesting. Website is outdated. Is that a, a risk? I don't know. I guess so. Website is outdated, old fashioned, old fashioned. I think that's a risk, right? It can uh, it creates a bad image or reputation. Control C. I'll just copy it. I'll take it to the risks, and then I will decide later on what to do with this. Any other interesting thing to st regarding staffing? Which one is the best one? This one. Knowledge is very good. Out of these three, knowledge is 41. But which one is the poorest? 622, this one. But responsiveness is the poorest. Mm -hmm. So I just, uh, excellent is uh, this one. And poorest is this one. Any comments? The appear to uh, how to the uh... this is all poor client service. So we know that our client service is already poor. We already have that point. Okay, done. So I've got an idea. Just a quick glance. Okay, done. Now, supposing we have done the, read the exhibits, and now we are moving towards drafting, right? So before drafting, this sheet is ready, 1A, 1B. Today we'll just do 1A and 1B, okay? So now before drafting, I have to read the entire requirement again. One, so if I'm going to start with 1A, I need to read 1A properly. I have just, I have not read the entire requirement. I just read the bold things. So I need to first read the background, the bold and the professional marks, look at the marks, decide the number of points, and then I will start. So at this, at the first stage, our objective was just to link. I did not look at the professional marks or the formats or the background. I was just linking. Now I've got all the data from the exhibit. Just right before you are about to start your drafting, let's look at question number one in proper detail, and then you can start. So question number. 1A. TT4U CEO is concerned about the possibility that major contracts will not be won or renewed. Oh, and would like your views on what the main risks are. You think lose, lo losing contracts and not winning new contracts uh, is bad and it's a risk yes and the ceo would like your views on what are the main risks which may cause us these things 
prepare a briefing note for the board prepare a briefing note for the board which analyzes the main risks blah 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 eight marks professional marks are available for analysis skills in establishing the risks relating to tt for you can somebody explain me this analysis skills means identify investigate so if we are identifying the main risks automatically we will score the professional skills marks because it says demonstrate analysis skills in establishing establishing means identifying or determining the risks just if you are if you are able to identify intelligent risks you can do it very simple so 10 marks 8 plus 2 can anybody tell me how many points how many points for this question who the hell is saying four who is saying eight are you guys crazy did you not attend yesterday's webinar for god's sake yeah it will be eight plus two ten ten is total marks divide by two is equal to we need to identify five risk now you remember yesterday's lecture in which i said there are some questions which says identify risks and give recommendation those kind of questions we divide by four but in this question, the examiner is not asking you for the uh, for recommendations. They just want you to identify the main risks. So just eight plus two, ten, divide by two marks, five risks. What's the format? Briefing note. Analysis skills, five points. Okay, all set. Please make a uh, quickly make a briefing note right now recalling yesterday's lecture who should it be addressed to what's your role subject date introduction closure i give you two minutes your time starts now it has to look hot and sexy okay no compromise on that you start, I will just feed the cats. Kya chahiye, mama? I want you to try first and then I will make it and you compare your with mine, okay? Once you are done, please type done. I just want the format. Very good. Nayan, Suman, done. Ali Abbas, done. Very nice, In interesting. 30 more seconds. All right, guys.
watch me. What is it? Briefing notes? Yeah. Caps B R I E F I N G N O T E S. Enter to to whom is it? What was the name? Uh, Stub field consultant. Date is eight March. Okay. This briefing note. I'll just copy from the requirements. Analyzes. Control C. And I paste it here. Analyzes L Y S I S. The main name with Chatters TT for you being awarded. Full stop. What's the subject? Done. Now some beautification. This one. All this make it heading number three. And this one make it center make it underline if you want you can make it heading number two and where is the closure sincerely s-i-n-c-e-r-l-y i'll just copy this control c and paste and I will also make it heading number three so that it stands out. So my format is ready. Guys, please compare. This one should be bold, big, center, underline, bigger than the rest. This one should be to the board of directors from stuff field consultant, subject main risks, date 8 March, this briefing note, Analyzes the main risk. Blah, 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 blah. You need to self check, okay? You have to match with this. 80%, 90%, it should match. I don't want lengthy subjects. I don't want only saying stub field. Stub field is the name of the company, not a guy. So it's a stub field consultant. And this is very important. I know most of you forgot it. Do it in the start so that when you are drafting, you don't forget it later on. Any questions? Everything has to be in capital letters. I would, I, it's simple for me that, you know, uh, it is, it stands out. I don't have to, I just press caps lock and then type. It's faster. Sir, can we write team lead stub field? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I haven't written sincerely. That's very bad. You are very rude. Briefing note heading one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Subject only risks. Okay. Forget the examiner, Zahul. Don't please. I think today you have not attended my yesterday's lecture because that is why you're asking these uh, questions. So please. I don't want to repeat something which I've already covered in detail, right? So forget the examiner, stay away from conclusions. Either watch the examiner's answer or watch my answer. Examiner's answer is not fit for under exam conditions. I am drafting an answer which is practical under exam conditions. Okay, so you have to be careful. You're not comparing Apple with Apple. All right, done. Usman, whatever I'm doing in here, please do that. Do not look at the examiner answer or either look at the examiner answer and leave the webinar or look here. You can't put your legs in two boats, right? It will go like this. So <laughs> stick with one. 
Okay, so now we're done with the formats. Now, what are the main risks? So we have all these things, right? But now listen very carefully. Um, we know we have the information, but whenever you get a question on identify the main risks, you have to name the risk. What the risk is about, is it reputational risk? Is it a uh, strategic risk? Is it operational risk? Is it, uh, I don't know, liquidity risk, financial risk, competition risk, all, you know, there are some standard terminologies in the language of risk management. When we say it's a risk, we try and name the risk using some standard terminologies. Okay, so I'll show you some standard terminologies and let's see. Um, yeah. This one, types of risk. This is basically the list of various. So do you know what a business risk is? And you can guess uh, from the uh, word business risk that the entire business is at risk. It's like about to collapse. It's like going concern. Got it? You understand? Yeah, business risk is that the entire business is at risk. Strategic risk, that the risk that your strategies might go wrong. The risk, because you always read in the bad sense, the risk that your strategies might fail, might not work, might be outdated. Financial risk, the risk that your financial position is screwed up. Financial position means PL, balance sheet, uh, you know, cash flow projections. Your financial strength is out. Negative equity, uh, high, extremely high gearing, no working capital. Your financials are not in control. Liquidity risks, the risks that you are not able to meet your current liabilities, day to day expenses. It's a cash flow thing. Credit risk, the risk that your debtors or your customers, they do not pay you what they owe you. So liquidity risk, you see, the credit risk will lead to liquidity risk, of course, right? So if my customers don't pay me, it will lead to liquidity risk. And liquidity risk, when it becomes bigger, it will lead to financial risk. Financial risk is bigger in size. And financial risk, if it is not addressed, will ultimately may result in going concern. So all these are kind of related or linked, right? Interesting. So exchange risk, the risk that the exchange rates, the foreign exchange rates, they move adversely causing damage or losses to you. Interest rate risk, the risk that the interest rates, they move adversely, causing damage to you. Market risk is about share prices. Okay, market risk means that the share prices, the equity markets, they move adversely so that it causes damage to you. Competition risk, the risk that the competition will beat you and take away your market share. 
So you must get into the habit of guessing from the name. My friends, any questions from this list? Any questions from this list? Market risk is generally the stock exchange. Yeah, if it's your own share, then yes, it could be due to financial risk. Market risk. I cannot repeat every risk again. Shit, man. You guys are sleeping or what? Okay, business risk that the entire business is at risk, going concern. Strategic risk that your strategies are may go wrong. It's possible, right? Financial risk that your financial position, financial, you know, balance sheet, PL, cash flows, gearing, they're all going wrong, like they're getting weak. Liquidity risk. Uh, the risk that your current assets, you're not able to pay your current liabilities to your current assets. Credit risk, the risk that your customers don't pay. Exchange risk, that the exchange rates and moves adversely. Interest rate risk, that the interest rates in the economy, they move unfavorable. Market risk means that your share prices or share prices of other companies in which you have invested, they fall, they move unfavorably. Competition risk that your competitors takes away your customers. Just from the name, it's not very complicated, okay? And please, uh, I would suggest that you watch my September webinar, I believe day number three, in which I have covered all this in great detail. That is why you need to watch September because all the important topics, especially risk management, is covered in huge detail, like one hour just lecture on risk management. Right now, I can't afford so much detail, right? Because I'm solving a case study. Now, political risk. The risk that the political situation or the government situation of the country it becomes unfavorable for the business reputational risk the risk that companies reputation becomes negative okay like goodwill goes away or some bad publicity technological risk the risks that the you know the risk related to technology like IT related hacking, virus, uh, cyber crimes, and you know, high dependency on internet and equipments, all those something bad happens uh, from the technology side, which adversely affects the business. Legal and compliance risks that you know, there's so many laws which you have to follow, the risk that you miss out and do a non compliance. It can lead to penalties. Environmental risk, the risk that you damage the environment, like pollution and emission and carbon. Health and safety risk, the risk that the health and safety of employees or customers, uh, you know, they are, in, they are in danger, there might be accidents, deaths, disability, harmful activities. Data risk, risk that your data is uh, compromised, hacked, stolen, deleted, leaked. Operational risk means that your day-to-day your -day operations, uh, buying, manufacturing, selling, customer service, it's not working nicely. Intellectual or employee risk that your key employees, they leave you. The companies are dependent on key employees. Now this is a huge list, right? These are some standard language or standard terminologies used under risk management.
and you will have to mention the name of the risks in your answer. So please memorize this list. So these are basically finance-related risks. You will see this in your balance sheet, IFRS, etc. And these are mostly business-related risks. This one, this one, this one are mostly business. This one is finance. What is the main difference between business risk and strategic risk? Strategic risk means your strategies goes wrong and if you don't fix it, it will turn into a business risk. That means the entire business will go wrong. Difference between market risk and market share risk. Market risk is share prices. Market share risk is, oh, that's confusing. It's about market share. The word market share is used for competition. Okay. Data risk isn't part of technology. Yes, data risk is part of technology, and you can also mention it separately. Uh, Madhu, I honestly don't know. Joshua, please don't repeat your questions. You're flooding my inbox. So you got an idea, right? No. Go back to our answer sheet. We have all this data. Now we need to first decide, put a name to this. So we are too much reliant on existing business from long-term clients. Which risk is this? Is this a good strategy that we are reliant on existing business from our long term? We are not looking into new customers, new products. That's a bad strategy. What do you think? Bad strategy, right? Market share risk, no, Baba. Market share is about competition. Did you see the word competition in this? I think it's strategic risk or maybe business risk, either one of them. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, I would call this, uh, I will take this up. First is Can we draft it? Kitty for you is too reliant on existing business from long-term clients. Okay. I just, you know, What's wrong with this? Uh, why is this too bad? Why is relying bad? What's the impact? You need to explain that to the board, right? Many firms have seen long-term relationship with clients and recently the loyal client da, 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 no longer exists. Now I'm just adding my own words. Similarly, ET for you, if ET for you does not focus on expanding new clients or finding new clients, it may lose revenue if existing client leaves Halas. done please understand the approach i gave the heading i gave the name 
couple of sentences were from the case study. And then I shared my thoughts that, you know, if, 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 if TT for you does not focus on finding new clients, it may lose revenue if existing client leaves. Simple logic, right? Plain and simple. I, so no fancy, no technical thing. Now listen carefully. This last sentence is from me. The first two sentences were copy pasted. And the last sentence is from me. If you just copy paste these two and you do not give the last sentence from your own, you will not get any marks. There is no marks for copy pasting. It's mandatory that you explain the point or explain the impact in your own words or, or share your thoughts of why you have copy pasted this point by just you know, explain the impact in simple words that if this happened, guys, your revenue will bust. No need for this. Done. Control U and bold. Bold and underline as us. Any questions on the approach? Yes, this word, this point is worth two marks. Absolutely, yes. Can we say if existing out of business, this will impact on, oh yes, yes, Ikhlas, you are right. Where is the second sentence from? The second sentence was from the exhibit, the industry one. While drafting, keep in mind the professional skill. Yes, so in this one, the professional skill is just identifying the risk. I'm identifying the risk, so nothing extra needs to be done in this particular skill. Mama Tala, I'm not able to read so much stuff. Uh, uh, you know, your question needs to be uh, root cause, no Fatima. The hint is there. The hint is that, you know, the question exactly tells you what to do. Uh, let me open the question. It says demonstration analysis skills by identifying the risk. Alas. So you just follow the hint. Remember yesterday, you followed the hints or instructions here. And the root cause is bad strategy. That's it. What will be the root cause? It's understood that this is a strategic risk. The root cause is bad planning, bad strategy. That's about it. Now, what about other points? What about this one? Competitors. Do you think competitor is a risk? Especially if our client service and all those things are not good. Oh, what about client servicing? Uh, this one. Or maybe uh, bad client service. So, so there was a full uh, survey, right? Client service, bad client service. What is the risk from this list? Bad client service. Which name is more appropriate? Bad client service is operational matter that you, you know, I'm just thinking bad client service. Yeah, it's operational issue. They, they need to fix it. What do you think, guys? Bad client service, operational risk, reputational risk, very good. Market share, reputational and operational, eventually market share. Yeah, of course, everything will lead to your market share. But first, what is the initial risk? Technological risk, 
Go ahead. If your client service is poor, what is the risk? That your customers will go, right? So it will uh, affect your revenues. So market share, competition, financial, and then ultimately business. It's all sequential. So the first a customer service or client service is an operational matter. So we will we will just identify the basic thing operational so how will we draft it mm. operational risk let's link with the uh i want to copy paste some information from the it's quite poor do we all agree how do we know this is evident from the client survey which was conducted by TT for you after many years. Okay. Well, what's happening? The comments from cust clients. are quite disturbing what's wrong what's the impact if client service is not improved then what happens customers will move to competitors causing loss of revenue and market share or TT alas just read it currently TT for use client service is quite poor this is evident from the client survey which was conducted. So I'm telling the examiner, I've read, you know, I'm the CFO, I've read all the exhibits, I have gone through the client survey. Uh, the comments are quite, you know, bad, negative, disturbing. And if it's not improved, customers will move to competitors. Now, is that conceptually difficult? I'm just explaining to the board some very basic things. You don't have to complicate your answer. You just imagine that the board is dumb. The board is five-year-old boys. You just explain to them in layman that this is what will happen if this happens. Understood the approach? Some linking and some of your own thoughts. Market share risk, that's fine. Yes, Aisha. Yes. Loss of revenue is repetitive. It's fine to repeat because ultimately everything will result in loss of revenue. You might want to change the wording if you feel it's repetitive where is it repetitive it may lose revenue and loss of revenue it's fine or it may call law it may cause it's all right i mean you can repeat stuff what else two what about competition 
our website. Website is poor. And outpatient. Website is poor and uh, out old fashioned and competitors uh, website are much more attractive not using social media what kind of website is outdated what 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 risk technology risk okay i'm fine website is technology anything to do with it is technology and reputation so it's technology and if you don't fix it it will lead to reputation Competition risk, yes, it's technology risk. If you don't fix it, it will lead to competition risk. You, you need to understand that this will lead to this and this. Okay, let's draft a technology risk. Uh, where is it? Nice, nice. T E C H N O L O G Y risk. And I'll just copy paste from here. Uh, I'll just. My language TT for you. TT for you. This website is really poor. Who's saying that? Who's saying that? as for your clients it for use website is really poor it lacks detailed information about blah 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 it it look old-fashioned and hasn't changed for Okay, done, enough. Outdated website will affect your reputation and increases the chances of customers or clients moving to competitors as they have in the interactive website as they have interactive websites i'm just using this information from the case study full stop done website Delete extra stuff. Okay, you understand? Small, small. How many more risks we require? What about employee risk? Is there a high dependency on some employees? Tell me. Is there a high dependency on few employees like technical people? Yes, the founders. So one is, you know, leading the IT, one is leading the services, one is market, the founding directors. If one of them goes away, probably that might affect our business, at least for the short term. Yes, so I think that and being a technology company, you are dependent on people, right? So that's, I would like to mention that. Uh, for you has founding members working since last 20 years and holding 
key positions in the company. How is this a risk? In case one of the key member leaves the organize leaves the organization then it will it may create some gaps and affect the operations Alas. Business risk, strategic, we talked about financial risk, no information, no information, exchange, interest, or competition, we talked about political, no information, reputational. Technology risk, we talk about environmental, no, it's more for manufacturing companies, health and safety is more for manufacturing companies. Data risk. You know, uh, you we did not read uh, one of the exhibits. Uh, in one of the exhibits, this one, I'll show you which one. In one of the exhibits, where is it? The major client one, the, I'm forgetting the name, the Rex investment, this one. Threatening letter about largest client Rex. You know, the data has been hacked. We have not read this exhibit, but it says that, uh, you know, the data of our largest client Rex investment has been hacked. Will it lead to, if, 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 if it's really hacked, and if this client finds out, what will happen so you are carrying data of clients and it is hacked what will happen reputational legal fines losing customer That's reputation and legal is very important because if if your data is if your customer's data is hacked it will lead to immediately some legal complications, penalties, fines, leading to bad reputation, leading ultimately to loss of revenue. And if it is significant enough, leading to going concern, which is a business risk. Okay. So I think because we did not uh, read that exhibit as yet, otherwise, you know, I you would have known. So the the fifth one I would say is reputational risk. And I will talk about data leak of Rex. You can do it on your own. So how many points you were supposed to give? For 10 marks, five points. So just visually look, I will just press this, you see? This is how it looks to the examiner. When the examiner prints your paper, look at this, the format is there. Do, 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 the opening sentence is there. Strategic risk, operational risk. The CEO wants to are you to identify the main risk. Here it is, strategic risk, operational risk, technological risk, you see? And reputational risk, you will draft yourself at home and then a closure. Does it look okay? Professional, nice presentation. Very good. Very good. Yes. So you just need to give five, okay? So whatever five risk you feel is easy go for it now we've got like uh, five ten minutes only so i want to just quickly talk about the second requirement okay 1b 
So 1B, yeah, this one, from here till here. Let's see. At the recent, uh, so we will first read it in detail, then we will plan, right? So at a recent director's meeting, the, I, the IT director proposed that TT4U should develop new services in, related, in relation to Internet of Things. The service director proposed that TT4U should focus on winning more government work. The CEO wants your report to include consideration of these two strategic options. So option one, option two, prepare a section of your report which evaluates the two strategic options proposed by the director. Format a section of a report. You have to evaluate the two options, 12 marks, technical and professional marks available for evaluation skills, which means pros and cons. But let's look at the hint. In using professional judgment to object, actively appraise the two options. Nothing much to do. Just use appraisable, uh, objectively appraise means giving proper facts and figures to assess the options. Okay, so nothing extra needs to be done. Just make sure you include pros and cons. How many points? It is 12 plus 4. Wow, 12 plus 4 is 16 divided by 2, you need to talk about 8 points or 8 paragraphs. There are two options. So you can split 4 in and 4 and 4. Okay, Not necessarily, but just to give you an idea. So please make a section of your report quickly. Time starts now. Done. I'm ready with the format. Please have a look at the format. Main heading, section of a report in the center bold. Introduction, this section of a report evaluates. I just copy paste it from the requirements. Now, what's the first option? Internet of Things. And the second option is Just also make them a big heading so that the examiner can see two headings. So these are the two options. Okay. Now, 
how do we evaluate strategic options so the topic is evaluate strategic options right or two options basically there are two ways you can evaluate strategic options first approach is simple and faster just simply evaluate the pros and the cons and if some financial projections are given then include financials if no financials is given uh, no need just include pros and cons okay simple the second approach is that you use the sfa model but please bear in mind sfa model is lengthy complicated time consuming okay you should not use sfa model for every question you can you should only use sfa model in case of acquisition related questions okay if the if we are planning to acquire another entity then you should use sfa and that also if the minimum marks is 15 to 18 marks if the question carries 15 to 18 marks then you use sfa if the question carries 10 12 13 marks please prefer the simple approach am i clear okay so in this question tt for you is it the question talks about acquiring no okay so i would prefer that you use the simple approach of pros and cons so internet of things what can i give an adding benefits and issues and then segregating my answer into two headings benefits and risks or issues or challenges is that okay from a presentation point of view internet of things i will cover the as a consultant i will tell the board these are the benefits and these are the challenges for this option these are the benefits and these are the challenges and us no recommendation no conclusion okay remember yesterday this is the format introduction and then option one option two segregated between benefits and issues you see i am so focusing on presentation layout professionalism this is how a cfo works this is how not not a cfo but this is how a senior level person works very structured so that the board is able to read understand easy to follow these these things really matter a lot in SBA. Okay, look at the professional layout. And now you just copy paste stuff from here. All this information we have, uh, you know, the good points expand area. You know, the good points of Internet of Things. I'll just take it here. I'll paste it here. Uh, Internet of Things, these are the good things. I will bring it here. This is some risks about uh, Internet of Things. So, this is risk of uh, issues. I will bring it here. And where is the issue? Oh, this one is here. Uh, involvement through remains risky this is the these are the so these two are the disadvantage of in 
internet of things i will copy paste here and then benefits where are the disadvantage of uh, government sector i think i had read it somewhere it was in one of the exhibits uh, yeah it was it was in this exhibit yeah Anyways, not able to find it. Okay, so you understand the layout, section of a report, introduction, this is part of the format. Internet of things, option one, what are the benefits, what are the issues? Government sector contract, what are the benefits? What are the issues? And a closure. Now you will read to, you know, read this and give it a little bit of a shape add your own comments so what is the benefit of internet of things there is a passive potential for extending internet There's a matter, massive potential for extending internet into household appliances and many possible sectors. So how is this good? How it will is a benefit? What is the benefit or impact of this? Can anybody help me? Can we explain this in our own word, the impact of this? Massive potential, so what? How it will help if it's a massive potential? Demand? Massive potential means future demand, future growth, it is the next thing, right? Very good. So uh, we will say this will lead to increase in demand for IoT in future, opening up many revenue options. Okay, tell us. Also, it you know it affects so many sectors. There are so many possible sectors: health, insurance. Is this good or bad? Yes. Uh, having a variety of sectors spreads the risks and in case any one sector does not perform it will not affect tt or you i'm just plain simple logics that if it's if we cater to so many sectors then we are spreading our risks right what is the issues Involvement remains risky. Why? What's the risk? Uh, there are security and surveillance concerns. This may lead to uh if there are security concerns also this may lead to legal complications and ethical 
issues along with reputational concerns Thus, so strictly as expected is that many applications don't survive the pilot stage since many visitors are not able to go. This shows that it will take a lot more time for Internet of Things to develop. That's it. Did you understand what I'm doing? One line from the case, and then I'm explaining the impact in my own words. Similarly, you can break this into two paragraphs, talk about the impact, why you are saying it's a benefit. So what is the benefit you need to explain? I'm sure there is some issues uh, in government sector. I just probably didn't, was not able to copy paste. And that's it. One point, two point, three point, four point, and four points for government sector work, eight points. Pros and cons. Yes, I've covered pros and cons. You're done. So I suggest that you guys try this on your own as homework, this portion. And in the first question, I suggest you try this as a homework. Reputational risk. Now, questions, please. So, equal points, please, Amir, you have asked these questions yesterday as well. There is no concept of equal points. It all depends on the availability of information. Just, you know, try to follow the flow of information. What unable to make subheadings, then you will lose marks. You will lose professional marks. The more subheadings you give, it's it's better, right? Tabular format is easier for pros and cons. No, Fatima. Did you attend yesterday? Tabular format is only good for weakness and recommendation. Do you recommend reading your notes for technical knowledge? You don't have time for reading notes. Please look at September. 2021 webinar. Involvement remains risky. Jovita, it was from one of the exhibits. You were watching me. Uh, all this word is from the exhibits. For headings, is it only needed to bold from? Yes, it's nice if you bold it. What if we couldn't find sufficient points? Doesn't matter. Leave, leave it and move forward. This will be uploaded by tomorrow evening. I can't find the chat box. It will be, I don't know where the chat box is. Someone can guide him. What about topic knowledge? Yes, you need to have topic knowledge, of course. Is it necessary to give closure? Not necessary, but of course, all these little things, it carries professional marks. So it's better to give closures. Yes, webinars are good enough, Sabika. So did we specifically mention that this is benefit? Yes, please. Why not? Oh, uh, no, you don't have to show topic knowledge in the... So this person is asking, do we need to show right topic knowledge in the answer? Absolutely no. This, this, you're, you, are you talking like a CFO? This report is going to the board and you are telling, showing them your topic knowledge. You are a stupid student. Don't, don't think like a student, okay? No topic knowledge. Did I show topic knowledge? No. Can we share this file on the WhatsApp group? Which WhatsApp group? Yes, uh, okay, I will try to save it. Uh, uh, September webinar, it's on my Google Drive. Uh, if you join my WhatsApp group, then you can able to access all the previous webinars. But okay, fine. So this questions will go on and on and on. 
the main thing main thing guys stop forget about nitty gritties did you understand the approach that's more important for me case studies will change questions will change marks will change but the approach will always remain the same did you understand the approach first step we copy paste requirements on one page so that it is visually in front of us in one page then we start reading and then we start putting first putting and dumping information then we look at the requirement properly the professional skills the formats the marks the number of points then we shape up our answer we, we give some nice headings we use some sentences from the case delete the rest and then add our own comments thoughts benefits impact whatever one liner you can think logically fits the approach is clear to you or not the more we will practice the more easier it will get but did you understand the approach that's more important do not get stuck in commas and full stop approach is clear yes this is the technique which you know copy pasting uh, this technique is you which you require to pass sbr okay right guys so i will see you tomorrow um 8 30 pakistan time and uh, i will create a new whatsapp group and you will get the link tomorrow right okay okay guys so if you have any questions you can ask me on the group as well it's already uh, much overrun the time so you know the admin is asking me to shut down so see you guys tomorrow with the rest of the question the myobet question huh? we will do it yet tomorrow okay guys take care and good night